spheric electricity, if I can call it as well. And on top of that, you also get to use some principles of uh, tertiary currents in the Earth. So tertiary currents, they're basically naturally occurring electrical currents that are more or less on the surface or below the surface of the Earth and transparent to the Earth. I think the third is all leverage that we get to utilize in this case. It's uh, the power of, let's say, exclusion zone water. So the key then is to be able to arrange a very standard, let's say, cell working on the principles of exclusion zone water or fourth phase water that allow you to produce as much current as possible to recharge those batteries. So from our trial runs, as I mentioned, uh, the very first one that we managed to make, uh, the one in August 2022, it had a power output of uh, 1 kVA or a single kilowatt, that's like 1,000 watts. But uh, it's not limited to that. An inventor from Kazakhstan managed to use the uh, lever rule and force of gravity in a highly unusual way. Marat Palmakhov managed to make a regular water wheel rotate endlessly without the need for an external power source. In his invention, he used a generator set in motion by the water wheel. The energy it generates is directed back to supply power to the wheel. The device self-sustains and provides electrical power to the consumer. What is the principle of operation of a hydroelectric power station, HPS? Water is fed under pressure and spins the turbine. I've created something similar, except without water pressure, using a flywheel instead. A certain amount of water is directed onto the flywheel, which spins the pulley, and that will rotate the generator. The generator, in turn, will power its own battery, its own pump, and then continue supplying power for further consumption, including the law of the lever. Accordingly, the longer the lever, the more energy will be transferred. The next device we will tell you about was developed by the German mathematician and entrepreneur Holger Thorsten Schubert. In an in-depth interview exclusively for the Creative Society, he explained the operational principles of the device created by his team, known as the Neutrino Power Cube. It is essentially a sandwich of many alternative